Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to see how minimum order quantity will be controlled in the sales order. Okay. So let's try to check this. This is the similar scenario, which is actually available in ECC, not only S4 HANA. So if you look at this field, minimum order quantity. So as of now, one of the one of my material is got maintained in cottons. If you see this, this is the basic difference. Sales unit, if you maintain in pallets, that will be, okay, base unit of measurement is carton and pallets, okay? So like, you know, certain pallet is equal to certain carton. That's what we're doing. Sales unit is the unit of measurement, which actually used for your sales actually, okay? Let's try to check what is the minimum order quantity for cottons it need not be like you know your base unit of measurement is exactly equal to sales unit of measurement in real time scenarios sometimes you don't use sales unit at all okay sometimes the unit of measurement have any relevance it depends on the industry where you'd like to contribute your consulting work okay so now let's try to check what is this minimum order quantity Let's go back to S4. Okay, you see this, uh, this is the material is 154, which is already created. So let me try to maintain. So minimum is 50 cottons, I'll do that. Okay, so let's try to save this. I just maintain it is 50. So let's try to create a sales order, okay. So let me go for this order. This is my document type I have used. So let's try to check this one. Test. So okay, no problem. Press enter. 154. I'm just giving what is the minimum. This is 50, right? I'm just giving like, you know, 10 cartons. See? Take minimum order quantity 50 cottons into your account for item number 005. If I press enter, it will take. So it's all depends on client requirement. Whether this message should be like warning message or error message. How we can able to change warning message to error message, I will show you in future videos. So let's try to understand. So since it is a warning message, it is allowed. 10 quantity so like you know if your customer is quite strict he don't want to allow for uh, you know not less than minimum quantity okay such a case what it will happen let's select this uh, if you click from your keyboard this is the one so let's try to come down here so that 50 cartons should be it shouldn't be less than 50 cartons so check as what it will happen. So you have to change that warning message to error message that we can also able to do that. Otherwise, if it is some requirement which deviates, so we'll take the help of a app. This is how it works. Okay. Let's go back. Now let me try to put some hundred cartons. It automatically allows. Let me try to put five cartons. Again, it is asking take minimum order quantity okay let's press enter still in since it is standard it allows with the same message you can able to do the delivery if you want it okay uh, let me try to make it this is somewhere sixth press enter the date let's come here mm -hmm. so sale is the storage location Okay, we have done this one. We'll go for billing, press enter. I'm just doing the billing. Actually, we did not confirm the OTC cycle. Okay, so I'll go to VF03. So you can able to see the doc flow. It has got succeed with five units. So let's come here, doc flow. This is how you can able to view the items okay 50 car five quarters actually 50 cartons is the minimum quantity this is how you can play with the system 
if your customer want you can make it this this one as error message if the customer don't want it still he would like to do like a minimum quantity or less than that then you can keep it this one as error message okay so i think you understood the concept if you like this video you can share and subscribe so it's all about you know enhancing your knowledge if you'd like to further learning and extend your knowledge on sales and distribution this is like you know 74 hours course it is available it will be extended whatever the possibility is there i'm the real time consultant i can able to add my knowledge time to time for this ecc course sap hd pricing concepts if you have a doubt and s4 hana 1909 fscm uh, whatever the settings in fseo those got more to this and as for our simple logistics business partner concepts this is if you are quite new to s4 hana you can able to join this course and if you are very new to the industry how to write functional specification this is quite useful for the enhancement project and the implementation projects and at the same time you'll have some idea if you are not doing enhancements also how to read the function spec what are its limitations everything you can get it and one course on rebates and apart from that i have few new courses as for hana ecc advanced and uh, like sap s4 hana intercompany sales and consignment sale and this is the course s4 hana 2020 for stock transfers i have one more one course already available for ecc which is got successful if you have some doubts on this you can able to join time to time it is a live course that's why we have four hours i haven't done any pre-preparation why because i would like to show the address otherwise stock transfers it's just 10 to 20 10 10 minutes to 20 minutes job actually to finish up okay i think you have learned something today you should be happy for that thank you very much i wish you all the best for your careers jay hint thank you